hello all we have a simple rc circuit here which is connected to a voltage source of 12 volts okay so in this video we will see uh, what happens when we plot the um, the capacitor voltage okay so let us just try to run the simulation before running the simulation as this is an rc circuit we have time constant of the RC circuit which is given by R1 in the circuit into C1 which is, is nothing but RC okay so what is time constant time constant is nothing but the time taken for the capacitor to charge up to 63.2 of the final voltage when a step load is provided that means when you provide a voltage from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 12 the time taken for the capacitor voltage to reach 63.2 percent of 12 volts that's how we calculate so here simply as this is rc it will be 22 into 10 micro which is nothing but 10 micro which is nothing but 220 microseconds so that's the time constant of this so um, this is a uh, not a practical value right it's a theoretical value so if the time constant or the time taken for um, the capacitor to reach that will be slightly varying uh, if you measure it practically now to reach to 12 volts, it will definitely take some more time because this is only 63.2, correct? In this case, now let us try to simulate, okay? So stop time will be, we can keep it 10 milliseconds or we can also restrict it to 5 milliseconds because it is only 0 0.22 milliseconds around um, few milliseconds the capacitor should get charged. So as a precautionary measure let us try to keep it to have sufficient margin for measurement so that means we are going to measure up to 10 milliseconds in <coughs> an interval of 1 milliseconds as you see here now when you try to probe here that means we are probing here right let us try to name this node as v out for our convenience When we probe here, we see that we don't see any charging. So why don't we see this uh, capacitor charging here? The reason is when we try to run the circuit, the capacitor component is treated by the transient analysis as it is fully charged. If it is fully charged, what happens? Uh, there won't be any current that will be flowing to the capacitor that means it is treated as an open circuit that's why we see that the voltage every time will be seen as 12 volts here now how to overcome the scenario to overcome the scenario we have to tell this or we need to intimate the simulator that the capacitor voltage is in fact not zero it is um, in fact it's not fully charged it is zero volts so for that what we can do is we have to add a directive dot ic and we have to in intimate this that v out okay voltage at v out node v out is a node right is zero volts okay so this is the uh, directive which we are going to add which says it we are going to start the simulation at zero volts now let us try to run the simulation you can see here the capacitor load uh, has um, the capacitor charging is clearly seen and you can see here around 1.1 or 1.2 milliseconds it has reached to its maximum value starting from t is equal to zero so if you want to see the capacitor charging ensure that you give uh, that initial 
um, value of the capacitor for the simulator to run properly. Thank you.